Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Concordia St. Paul Valorant stream. We have week one action coming up tonight. And yes, indeed, it will be a best of three taking on Colorado Mesa. So we will be beginning our night with Icebox. Game two will be played on Haven. And if needed, we will be going to split for the decider. Agent Select is underway and we got a pretty good composition showing for the side of Concordia St. Paul. Porg on the Rays, Elusive Elephants on Viper, Goosey on the Sage, Worthless Rock in the Sky, and Akira on Sova. So a little bit of switch up amongst Agent Select from what we saw last time from Concordia. A little bit of a new look. I wonder if, you know, that was practiced out in scrimmages. Obviously, that has to be the case. Otherwise, they wouldn't be busting it out on game day. A very even match tonight here, folks. Both teams boasting similar solo queue ranks. So it should be a tight matchup. Concordia will be starting out on the attack side here on Icebox. Thank you all for joining us. Strap in. We have some exciting Valorant action coming up. Week one of the collegiate season. Concordia looking to start it out with a bang. As we see Akira heading over towards this B site. And the rest of the team starting to move over as well. Spike with Akira. Potential fake as the Viper Wall is already set up towards A main. And I like this CSP trying to pull some defenders away. Viper wall at B. Taking contact over at the A site. Chamber spots out one. No bodies drop yet. A little bit of a slow start to this first pistol round here. As elusive elephants is getting close here on pipes. Looking to pick something off. Bots jet out back site. Now CSP trying to find an opener, but nothing being given from the side of Colorado Mesa yet. 55 seconds remain in this pistol round, and CSP's going to start to have to move up and gain some ground. Worthless working up pipe here, or tube rather, sorry. Peeking out towards kitchen. No visual just yet. Reloading. That Sova Dart will spot out this CSP attack. They sure know, but it's a good opener for Elusive Elephants. Traded out and another one falls. Now a three on four. Akira trying to release the shock darts and look for any kind of chip damage he can find. They're dueling jet back sight. CSP has to get on a site. They find two very crucial kills right there. And they take the player lead. Now down to two on two. Akira's holding flank. They double up. I like this post plant scenario for Concordia St. Paul as Akira moves up into their nest. Now it's on these defenders to push these attackers and force them out. A good motion dart. Spots out one on site. Viper smoke on the bomb. It's tapped now. Enemy remaining. Taft. The tap's in again. CSP has to push. They don't do it in time. The spike gets defused, and I don't know if that's a miscommunication or what, but spikes tapped, and you hear that that higher pitch second tap. You know you are out of time. You have to push up and take that player out. Unfortunately, not fast enough on the trigger. Pistol round going the way of Colorado Mesa. A good round nonetheless, very close indeed. Concordia had the opportunity to capitalize, but could not manage to find the success on the pistol round now. In a good spot, they found multiple frags in that first round, got the spike plant for extra money as well. As they start out with another slow approach. Motion dart is out. Does not spot any of these Concordia members. They played it slowly and patiently. Oh, Jet misses out on the Marshall shot. Contact towards A. Now lots of footsteps coming over towards this A hall. Jet drops the cloud burst and falls back. 
Being chicken 76 feet. finds elusive elephants on the A site, but Akira trades one back, and that's a big kill. Looking for more Sova spotted out backside. Worthless. Could not find the damage he needed. Goosey goes down as well. Now a two on four ensues. No HP to Akira's name. And this would be a very tough round for CSP to claw back. Looking to do some economy damage and try to take out some weapons from this defending side. 30 seconds now in round number two left. of game number one. Last player standing. Akira will go down to Cole. Ooh, but a good pickup from Porg. Now a one on three, but he has no time. Has to commit to this A site now. Clock ticking against him. 13 seconds and counting. Here's a player on site. Goes for the plant. Getting pushed and going to get taken out. So not a terrible round. Concordia able to find two eliminations in that second round. Damage the economy just a little bit. But now the rifle buy. And this is a very important round for Concordia St. Paul. As the team starts out their attack. Planning to look over towards this B site. Chamber has been playing over towards yellow. So Concordia are going to make it happen. They got to get him before he's able to TP out. That is... Uh, one of Chamber's abilities gives him that elusiveness on the defensive side. Sky Dog called in immediately. Worthless trying to scan forward. No target spotted out just yet. Chamber motion sensor cleared out. On site, a good opener for Akira. And this is exactly the start to the round that a CSP needed, but Worthless will fall. One player tucked that yellow, and Alpha finds another. It's a disaster. Alpha finds three frags with the pistol. But a beautiful shot from Goosey and the follow-up is there. Turning the round back on its head. A very clutch 3k from Goosey. And now CSP opting to head back towards the A site. Only one orb away from getting that resurrection now. What a turn of events, man. That went from, honestly... A disaster for Concordia to turn around from Goosey. Beautiful shots on those players towards Snowman. They have to finish the job now. 40 seconds. Two versus one. They've lost enough weapons as it is. got to stay alive, play together. Goosey has res now, but all three of his teammates are over at that B site. A spike goes down now. No idea where this Sova could be. Spotted towards screens. That dart is a dead giveaway. Goosey locked in on the angle. We'll get it. That's a 4K picked up from Goosey in an absolutely massive round from the Sage. What a turnaround, man. I mean, after, after Alpha got the 3K at yellow with that ghost, man, it was looking... At Neither Worse for wear, but Goosey turns around on its head, gets Thanks. his first four eliminations of this map, and puts his team up one, one on the scoreboard. Down one round now. As we approach round number four, decent economy for the defending side, so you should expect a rifle buy at least coming out of four of their members. Deploying drone. Drone out early from Akira. Can he spot any defenders? Viper seen at yellow. Has the ultimate available. Oh, a nice opener from Worthless. I got the spot. Falling back and getting with his team now. Spike picked up. We're seeing a very controlled approach to the beginning of these rounds from Concordia. Playing it slow, patient, letting the defenders make a mistake. And honestly, they're having success so far. Finding an opener. Akira finds another. Now three on five. They know Viper was spotted over at yellow. Worthless pushing up. Good shock dart. Elusive Elephants picks up one at the middle. Now a five on two ensues. And it should be around going the way of Concordia St. Paul if they play it right. Nice blind from the sky. Enemy remaining. Oh, beautiful shot from Porg onto Alpha. Now Jet remaining in a one versus five. Spotted at Snowman. CSP plays the cross right. Ground should be in the bag. And Op is out for that Jet, though. That could cause some trouble. 
They gotta get that out of Jet's hands. Worthless goes down to first peak, but Goosey will take him out and grab the op for his own. Big round again from the side of Concordia St. Paul as they even up the scoreboard at two. Goosey has that operator on his back now. And looking to carry it himself. So interested to see where Goosey opts to go for a pick. Looks like he's going top belt as of right now. Viper ultimate is available for the defenders. Whereas Akira and Goosey have their ultimate. So that resurrection could come into play this round if Concordia drop a member early. Early cloud burst from Jet as she goes for that orb. Goosey's holding the angle. The knives are out from Jet. Able to get back to safety. Jumps across. Goosey can't hit the shot. Lots of utility coming out from CSP as they move forward aggressively. Jet from back sight. Shot will not land. Nice opener from Worthless again. Now has the ultimate available if he chooses to use it. And another opener. Worthless on an absolute tear right now. Goosey holding the flank. Spotted one close. One at screens. Worthless has to move forward and help out his teammate now. Goosey goes down to the headhunter from Chicken, but Chicken gets traded. Worthless finds his third of the round. Now a three-on-one. Beautiful rounds coming out of Concordia St. Paul here. Still have to finish the job, though. Two-on-one. Ultimates on all three characters. Spike ticking very low, though. Elusive Elephants has the lineups. Beautiful round for the Golden Bears as they reclaim the lead. Three to two now. Don't sit down. We're not done yet. Yeah, good start for Concordia. First two rounds don't go their way, but they bounce back on the first buy round and now putting the other team in most likely an eco position. If we look at the scoreboard, money should be low for the defenders. So Concordia have a chance to go up 4-2. And speaking of four, four ultimates available for the side of the Golden Bears. This could be fireworks coming out from this attacking side. As Akira moves forward looking for the early drone as per usual. Spotted one player close pipes. Able to tag that Viper looking for more. Chamber up close as well. Two players now spotted up close B. But the teleport is used and Chamber gets out of dodge. Akira moving forward aggressively, trying to dart out a player at yellow. No visual just yet. Now pushing out. Sky Seekers are used. They know two are at B. The Golden Bears moving forward aggressively now. Good wall from Goosey. Viper getting that spike down. Has the Viper's Pit available too. If, yup, there it is. I like the play out of the Golden Bears committing to this site. But it is a five on five full retake. For the side of Colorado Mesa. First opener goes the way of Mesa. But the kill feed lights up green. And it's the Golden Bears striking back aggressively. Now a three on one. And it should be all said and done. Silva pushing towards that wall. This guy throwing out the trailblazer. Goosey opts to resurrect elephants. Goosey goes down. Time ticking very low. And this should be around going to the Golden Bears now. Moving up to four and two. And the defenders had a buy. So most likely not going to have a buy this next round. I was off on the money. Great bounce back here for the Golden Bears. Oh, and a nice exit frag as well. Dropping Cole. And yes, money looking worse for wear on the side of Colorado Mesa. A very key turnaround in big rounds to be winning from the side of Concordia St. Paul. Akira at eight and two. Worthless at six and five. Goosey, five and four. Porg at four and five and elusive elephants at three and three. But each member of the Golden Bears has had key moments in this match so far. And they're starting out game one very nicely. They gotta continue though. Ultimate advantage is on the defender side, and that op is used instantly from Chamber. Jet ringing out those sheriff shots. Should still be an eco round from the defenders. The dart will spot out a few Golden Bears. And a big shot early from Chicken takes out Akira. That could cause problems for this attacking side. But they continue to push forward. Goosey opts to heal himself. Sky healing up. But one on the flank. Goosey not ready for the push. 
And you heard the Sage run back through mid. Now with the Golden Bears frantically trying to fall back and take that player out. Sage gets the slowdown. And now the Golden Bears set forced to reset here. Three versus five. This is going to be a tough round for the Golden Bears to bring back. But still doable. They have to find the next kill here. Starting to walk back towards A site now as Worthless working mid. Spotted Sage out on the Boiler Peak. 40 seconds and counting. Still three ultimates available for this defending side. Rays might have to pull out the showstopper if they decide to go for this. 30 seconds. As they aggress forward, Pipes is heard. Worthless finds another huge frag. Player spotted towards screens. No way. As Elephants gets the spike down. Sova using the Hunter's Calling. Honestly, late. Not able to stop that plant in time. A little bit of hesitation ends up costing him an ultimate for free, and that's good play to the side of the Golden Bears. As the Viper Wall comes in for retake, this guy trying to find some information. One at Rafters finds Worthless. Now a two on four. Golden Bears are going to need kill. Showstopper called in. Needs three. My goodness, a three-man ultimate from Porg. Now a one-on-one -on -one elusive elephant's forced to clutch up. I was going to say needs two, but he found three. The tap is in. Elusive Elephants goes for the spray. Not going to have any more time. A massive round from Porg. Are you kidding me? Get it clipped. It's a highlight coming out from Porg. Stopping the show, man. It's the name of the ultimate for a reason. A three-piece with that rocket. And Porg sends Colorado Mesa packing. 5-2 lead the way of the Golden Bears. And what a round oh, from that raise. Exceptional ultimate. I mean, I thought we were going to get two, but the third on top was like the cherry, man. Hoo-wee! Good a play to the Golden that? Bears. And they got two ultimates out of the defending side there. And were able to still get that round. Now back over towards this B site. Akira taking first contact. Right something he is well known for here. Spots Chamber out, gets some good damage in. As Chamber teleports back to safety. Right here. Velo finds the opener onto Elusive Elephants. Now Porg looking for that trade frag. Can't find it just yet. Worthless hears movement over towards screens. Trying to work up mid. No Sage is playing Boiler. Chamber utility heard under that tube. As wall breaks in mid tube, now working up to kitchen is worthless. Oh, a big frag from Cole as worthless trades one back. He knows the player's mid. Swings out, can't find the damage. Gets pinged out though. Finds another one. Big shots from worthless. Flashes the chamber. Close and finds a third. Are you kidding me, worthless? How has he done that? Now a two-on-one, and the Golden Bears are finding, I mean, kill after kill, pulling a rabbit out of the hat. How does Worthless find that third? No HP to his name, and he gets the job done. Now Porg and Goosey left to finish the mission. Trying to make this four unanswered rounds. I mean, six unanswered rounds, rather. The way of the attackers. Spike is tapped, and Porg takes care of business. Now 6-2 lead for the attackers and the Golden Bears have really turned this one around. Worthless is playing out of his mind right now. I mean, they get behind on numbers. Leave it to Worthless to get him right back into this round. Exceptional play the way of the Golden Bears. Colorado Mesa have to figure out the holes in their defense. Otherwise, Golden Bears are going to keep running the show. Money is not in the favor of the defenders. So, if CSP play another clean round, this should be 7-2. Oh, what a shot from Worthless. I mean, you can't make it up. This guy's red hot. Opening frag after opening frag. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. They're going down. As the Golden Bears opting to push up towards Bravo. Sage spotted out. That's three players over at the A site trying to get that jumper as Worthless holding the body now. Knows two players were here. This should be the green light for the Golden Bears to push up to B. Chamber in mid. 
Sage goes for the res, but Worthless has a freebie right here. I mean, come on now. Gets the trade at the end of it, but now a three on four advantage for the defending squad. Chamber spotted right now on the minimap. We'll find that shot on a goosey. I don't know if that was a Viper wall bug or what, but we could not see that chamber. Akira playing up close has the ultimate available. Good shock dart. One cross yellow. Akira can't find the shots needed. Spike already tapped, and it's too late on the lineups from Elusive Elephants. Just a little bit off on the timing. I don't know if that's miscommunication or what. That spike gets tapped. It's got to be swung and cleared. Otherwise, I mean, that DP is going to go over 10 out of 10. Need a drop. Thanks. Now Akira struggling for money, but gets dropped from his teammate Porg. Now Golden Bears still with a buy in this round. However, if they lose this, money will be back in the gutter. So a very important round for this attacking side of the Golden Bears. Viper wall used early on the A site. Standing ahead. As Akira darts out back site. Jet dashed away. Flash out from the sky. Looking for more. Gets a freebie onto that jet. Sage swings out. Akira trades it out. Four on three. Sage is known on back site. The Golden Bears go for the plant. Korg holding flank. One spotted out back rafters. Sage falls back to cover. One dead. Oh. Big shots from Goosey gets traded out. Now a three on two. The Golden Bears with a man advantage. One Viper remains. pushing forward. Pork finds the first. Black Needs black another black. peeks out. Elusive Elephants has the lineup perfectly, and it's another round going the way of the Golden Bears, and a very key round to pull it back. Seven three advantage Golden Bears, and man, besides the two defuses, I mean, this has been a very clean game coming out from Concordia St. Paul so far. They're getting the info before making the push. They're playing off their picks nicely, and they're working well as a team. And if only we could have an inside look at the comms. <laughs> Viper swinging out B main early. The Golden Bears stuffed up for a little bit, but worthless. Finding another first blood. And man, you can't give enough praise over to Worthless right now. Doing absolute work for this Golden Bears squad. And it's even on a lurk. I mean, look at how much pressure he's drawing over here. Three players at this A site. That's the green light. Go, Golden Bears. One player at the B site only. All three Seekers spotted them out here. Standing ahead. Welcome to my world. All Viper is at this B site though. Pops the pit. Could push up. Goosey tucked on site. A nice little spot here. Sees Viper's weapon. Gets a freebie. He gets the wall down as well, but will go down as he's fleeing the site. A nice play from Goosey. Viper has the lineups in motion. Porg spotted out at yellow. First Molotov coming in from the Viper. Bots a player out towards yellow. One enemy remaining. Drops the diffuser in a big clutch from Elephants. What a play coming out from the Viper to keep Last this freight train half. rolling for the Golden Bears as they push for a 9-3 half. Worthless at 14 and 10. Akira at 10 and 7. Porg right there as well at 10 and 9. Followed by Goosey at 7 and 8 and Elusive Elephants at 6 and 5. And right now... I mean, the Golden Bears are playing one of the best games I've seen them play yet. I mean, the improvements have been coming in. This is week one of their collegiate season. Reminder, folks, we are in a best of three tonight. So next we will have Haven, and if needed, we'll be going to split. What a weird dart that was. Doesn't even scan anything. 
I mean... Anyways, Golden Bear is pushing up now aggressively on this A site. Lots of utility used early. They know players are tucked close maze. Worthless can't find the opener this round. Jets spotted that Rafters. Chamber calling in the ultimate as well. Viper Pit is used. Goosey has resurrection if need be. Man advantage going the way of the defenders right now. Goosey finds a big kill there. Now falling back and looking for a res maybe. Three on two now make it. Chamber opping at screens. One enemy remaining. Oh, one left and it's the chamber with the ultimate Akira playing on site. A nice little spot here. Will be tough to clear and Goosey gets the job done. Another 4K for Goosey. And a big round in a great half the way of Concordia St. Paul. Taking it 9-3 as they move over to the defending side. An exceptional start to this one here. I mean, coming coming across the board. No worthless with the opening frags. You see with turning around rounds that should be lost. I mean, elusive elephants playing the post plants nicely. Porg with that disgusting showstopper. I mean, one of the best showstoppers I've seen in competitive play. How often do you see a 3K from the showstopper? Almost never, let me tell you. Most of the time, people send that wa rocket wide left and you call it Blair Walsh. I mean, come on now. Big improvements coming out from the Golden Bears and catching Colorado Mesa by surprise. Early dark coming out to A. Viper alone on this B site, left with it all to do if the Colorado Mesa squad opts to head over to B. Shots from mid, Viper up top of that blue box. Goosey trying to find the trade, cannot find it though. Now a four on five and it's a slow start. Nobody over towards this B site from Concordia, but it seems like Colorado Mesa are executing on this A site. Akira finds one. Worthless gets taken out. Now a three on four. No HP for Akira as Spike going down now. Good peek from Porg. Can't find the damage. Now a one on four. This would be absolutely nutty if Akira could pull it back. Needs one. Can't find the shots. Velo with a 3k. And it's a round going over to the attacking side. If you lose focus, you die. Let's see how CSP decides to play this eco round. Akira going for a sheriff. Let's see if he can find any openers for his team. As worthless over on the B side, and I like this setup more from the side of CSP. Two players at B, two on A. Standing ahead. Early dart into CT. I mean, where is that thing going to land from Sova? My goodness. These have been some not believable darts from the enemy team Sova. Cole going down early. Giving a specter over to the side of CSP for free. And I mean, at this rate, I mean, uh, those Sova darts aren't doing anything. <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. We'll take those. Jet spotted at yellow. Use of elephants over at the B site, putting up the Viper wall and going aggressive now. Nose of players at yellow. Goosey swinging first with the Spectre, finds one. A big opener. Now, five on three. CSP with a chance to turn this eco round on its head. Goosey finds another one. 3K for the man. Now a three on two. Concordia, blood thirsty. They know they have these attackers on the back foot now. A big, big round from Goosey. Another 3K, and it's on an eco nonetheless. Left. Elusive Elephants now. Hovering around this B site. Anchoring it up here. And the other Golden Bears opting to head back towards that A site. 10, Ten seconds, seconds remain. Left. Colorado Mesa have to pull the trigger. Spike being planted at A now. Spike planted. One spotted from Kitchen. 
Porg has a one-on-one -on, -one on site. Tagging the player low, but can't land the shots needed. As Elusive Elephants moves up and takes on a one-on-two now. Grabs the Spectre, moving forward now. Nice shot from the Sage on site. A good eco round for the Golden Bears. They take out three of the opposing Even team's weapons. Anything can still happen. Remember that. And should have a decent buy for themselves now. As the rifle buy comes through, Akira will be on a Guardian. And the other team going to have to force up now. Rifles on rifles. A very telling round of which direction this game will be heading. Concordia with a chance to put it up to 10 on the scoreboard right here. Sakura over at this A-side solo. Porg coming over to back him up now. Early dart is out from Sova. Akira with a beautiful one-tap. See you next round, Velo. I mean, too easy coming out from the Sova. Beautiful crosshair placement. Takes care of business, no problem. Players hurt at pipes. Porg playing close, trying to see if he can spot something out with Boombot. Now a four on four as Goosey was taking down over towards middle two. But Elusive Elephants on the trade. Nicely played from the Viper. Now a four on three. Concordia with the man advantage. Porg opting to go aggressive in middle. Giving away a little bit too much. Now a three on three. Viper does not have a lot of HP to play with. Elephants is in a tough spot now. Two players spotted towards Bravo. Worthless now working up towards this Viper wall. If if Worthless can stop plant, I mean, that is a game changing play. Left. But 30 seconds now. Colorado Mesa going to have to commit. Dog coming out, chomps on the Sage. Two players spotted out towards Yellow Akira. Finds the headshot, a very crucial kill. Looking for more, gets another as well. Chamber is close, they gotta play time now. Ten seconds left. They have the cross. Akira goes down, and Worthless goes down as well. A massive clutch coming out from Chick Hen. And giving away a little bit too much on the side of CSP. They had the setup. They knew they had to commit. Just could not execute on the ending seconds there. Chamber goes huge for the side of Colorado Mesa. Now 9-6 to six on the scorecard. CSP, no money to these bank accounts. So, going to be forced to save here. A Marshall buy for Akira, but nothing more. You want to play? Let's play. A little bit of light armor as well. Early ultimate from the chamber. Where will that peak come in? Viper wall on A. Lots of enemies spotted towards this A site. Akira can't find that headshot. Very close look. Will go down on the secondary peak. Viper moving up through middle on a quick flank here. Knows these attackers are stacked up over towards A. Sight as Spike going down now. Nice shots from Porg. Now a winnable round for the Golden Bears. Four on three. As Elephant's not going for the flank. Pulling it back and coming screens with his team. A huge shot for Goosey finding the head of Alpha. Now three on two. The Golden Bears starting to pick up the pace. Moving forward aggressively. Enemy spotted back towards main. Gets traded out. Now a two-on-one. Last enemy is known at nest. Good molly from the Viper. Putting Chamber down to base ground. And Viper will end it. 10-6 will be the scoreline. Golden Bears go huge on the eco round. My goodness. It's a sign of good fortune when you pull ecos like this. And the Golden Bears, man, you got to give credit to the team play. Playing exceptionally well as they take their first round on the defending side. Now have to keep the ball rolling. Three attackers will not be able to buy this round. Money looking atrocious over on the Colorado Mesa side. CSP have to take advantage and push this to round or push it to 11 on the scoreboard here. 
I mean, to lose this round would be an absolute blunder. So, do what they can. Ultimates on the side of Colorado Mesa, but Jet popping the Blade Storm early. Trying to look for an opener here. It's elusive elephants peeking out towards this B site. No visual just yet given from these attackers. Lots of players at bottom mid though. Worthless will go down and give over a rifle. One for one in this circumstance might not be the best way to play it, but trying to find some information and runs into the, half the team, if not more. As players moving up tube fast, and that's that rifle. Coming back to haunt them. Three on four now. Now it's a two on four. That's why you can't go for that push. Big shots from Akira though, turning the round back on its head, making it a two on two. Resurrection available for the defending side. Huge shots from Akira, go on! I mean, man! Talk about putting on for the city right now. Akira goes huge. And he finds the fourth! What a round from the Sova! What a perfect round from Sova to turn that one around. Big round for the Golden Bears. I mean, man, they scare me sometimes with going down early on the eco. But Akira with the huge step-up play. The 4Ks have been there tonight. Goosey's had a couple. Akira's had a couple. I mean, the showstopper, I'll keep bringing it up. Massive step-up plays from each individual on this Golden Bears squad. And that's exactly what you need to see if this team is going to move forward and keep showing success. Worthless finds another first blood as they move for the stranglehold in game number one. Golden Bears looking to close it out and send things to Haven. Resurrection used for the attacking side. Sky Seekers trying to hunt them down. Lots of bogeys over at this B site. Elusive Elephants is up top. He's got a nice spot here. Does not get spotted yet. Tons of Vandal spam coming out from these attackers as they move forward aggressively. Elusive Elephants can't find the spray. Goosey goes down after finding one. Now a three on four. Worthless stops the plant. That is massive coming out from the sky. Lots of utility still available. Peaks out towards danger side. Cannot take out the jet. Two on three now. Zakira staying aggressive. Has had the hot hand last round included. Sends out a shock. Doesn't land. 30 seconds left. I believe these attackers might have cut their losses and left this B site. As Akira moving back over towards A now. Information has to be gathered. 15 seconds and counting. Viper wall up at B. Looks like a B hit coming out from the attackers. I lied. They're on A site. Huge shots coming out from Akira again. Last player spotted towards screen. Akira playing patiently in the one-on-one. -on -one. Has the spike to defuse. Up in nest. Chamber spotted and the headshot is claimed from Akira. Precise gunplay coming out from the Sova as he goes huge. Two rounds in a row putting CSP to match point. Match point. Man, this Sova really performing well here on Icebox. And I like this look for Akira. We've seen him on the jet and the duelist in the past, but this is a completely different role entirely. Repping the Sova, trying to gather more information for his team and set the squad up for success. And look at the step up from Goosey and Worthless. I mean, we're going to have to check the stat card after this match here, folks, but I guarantee you Worthless is pushing five to six first bloods on this map. It's been yeah. such a standout opener for the Golden Bears here. As Jet dashing forward, I mean, dude... You've done that how many times this game? I mean, fat finger in that dash, and it cost him his life. Now, four on three. Match point reminder for CSP. And a chance to close out here.
Jet's going to have to figure out whatever the deal is with that dash forward, man. Gotten him killed at least two to three times this match. Alpha finds Elusive Elephants over at that B push. Sage spotted out at bottom tube. CSP a little bit stacked on top of each other. If you're that solo B player, man, you got to stay back. No need to push. You walk up, push. You give a chance for these attackers to get back into the round. You just sit back, play defensively, play the numbers advantage that your teammates have gained you. Now it's a three-on-three. Three. 35 seconds in Cordia. Do not know where these attackers are headed just yet, but Worthless starting to gain some information at bottom mid. Dart comes out on a site. Akira waiting the for the challenge. His Don't teammates run. now collapsing. 20 seconds and counting. Going to have to be a fast execute from the attackers. Worthless coming in on the flank. Good position from all of CSP. The first player drops. Akira gets traded out, though. Worthless finds one, and that will do it. Worthless on the flank. 3K will get the defuse and claim map number one for the Golden Bears. 13-6 is your final here on Icebox. We are headed to Haven next. 22 eliminations for Akira. 21 for Worthless. I mean, big shooters coming out for the Golden Bears in an electric way to start out this best of three. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bears Valorant stream. That was game one action. Game two will be back underway soon. I'm your host and caster, Skepter. I mean, seven first bloods for Worthless. Nobody else even in the same league as that man. Get him a contract. Exceptional play coming out from the sky. And it looks like we're getting ready to get back into things shortly here, folks. We're going to take a quick little break. Stay tuned. We have Haven up next on the cards. And the Golden Bears are feeling great tonight. Stay tuned. We'll come back soon.
you're not live on Discord. Haven, Concordia St. Paul currently lead Colorado Mesa 1-0 in this best of three series. Week one of the collegiate Valorant series. It was a great first showing from the Golden Bears. Absolute electric start. And now we are getting back onto the maps. Heading into Haven next. I believe we saw we saw not the best showing the last time the Golden Bears were on Haven. So hopefully spent some time in the lab getting back to work this around and Golden Bears back on the attack side to begin here. Zakira peeking out towards Long back on his jet select. So back to comfort for Akira. No openers found yet on either side. But what a start to last game in this collegiate season for the Golden Bears. As Porg moving up into garage now. And these defenders not giving out any kind of peaks yet. Akira trying to strike first. Spots one out back flat. Spike moving around back and forth. Here. 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 Uh, uh. Ooh. Oh, Popping away with that ghost. Can't find the damage. Two players at back CT, and the loose elephants goes down. Now a three on five, make it a two on five for the Golden Bears. Thirty seconds left. Very tough round to pull back. That time is becoming the enemy as well. Last player standing. Back, but now in a one on five, goes for the flash, blinds himself a little bit. Flawless. Nothing wrong with that. Round one going the way of the defenders flawlessly. Or the side of Colorado Mesa. And now the Golden Bears. Thinking about how to approach the second round attack. A little bit I slow to get out of base for Akira, but other than that, looking like an A hit for the side of the Golden Bears. Enemy Tapped a. out from that Astra early. Elusive Elephants tries to take out the dog, can't do it in time. Gets stunned up, but the Golden Bears opting to go aggressive quickly. Smoked out in short, but moving forward hastily. Jet dashes out on the site, cannot find the damage. Good dink coming out from Worthless. First frag is picked up, three on four now. Attacker swinging out, but opting to fall back. Worthless will go down from the Killjoy peak as Elusive Elephants leading the charge. Running it all the way back to the C site. At least three players were spotted over at A. We'll be rotating into CT now. Worthless trying to get, or Elusive Elephant's trying to get this plant down. Will do so as Porg falls back to play long. And Elusive Elephant's is tucked on site. Could it cause some major damage? Finds the first frag, now a two on three. Has to find more. Big damage on a chamber, he goes huge! Elusive Elephant's can he get more, can't do it. Porg will go down as well, but still a great eco round coming out from the Bears. They get the spike planted. They find three eliminations. Unfortunately, can't finish out the round, but still, I mean, when you're on those pistol rounds, it's so hard to even end up getting on a site and getting that spike planted. So props to the bears, getting three aliens and getting that spike planted. As they now set up shop here. Round number three, the first gun round coming out for the Golden Bears. Five seconds before we get into things here in round number three. Kira peeking out garage early. Trying to find an opener with this vandal. 
Need that back. I got the spike. Locking sight. Lots of damage coming out early on to Astra. Falls back. Getting out of dodge. As the defending squad used almost most of their Astra utility and Killjoy utility at front B. So these attackers are just going to fall back and reposition now and set up shop once again. Akira up close towards Bravo. Trying to take a peek, see him what he can find. Spots out Jet, but gets taken out. An unlucky opener for the defending side. Goosey position towards Garage with Spike. He's a little bit alone right now. Starting to walk through and cheat over to the C site. All gets spotted out and slowed. Trying to push through quickly. Chamber will take him out. And now the Golden Bears in a two on five. They don't have Spike. That's the problem here. Is they're going to have to start heading back. And four defenders meaning going to be moving over and watching that Spike now. So Worthless and Porg. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, and they only have 20 seconds now to really get this ball rolling. And at this point, you're looking at a save, not left. moving over for that spike. Walking up towards B now is worth us. And another round going the way of the defenders. Porg finds one after time. But money is uh, not looking so hot for the side of Concordia St. Paul right now. So they have two rifles to their name. The rest of the squad looking to save maybe a couple of marshals picked up here. Now Concordia... I'd like to see them get kind of grouped up now. They, they just were spread too thin last round, slowly getting picked off one by one. Play off the rifles. Early pickup. Akira goes down a nice dink onto the garage player. Worthless trying to find the, the wall bang. Can't find it, though. Still spamming away. Only two clips to his name now. Revealing area. Starts out of Garage, droning in now. No visual, one player spotted out towards C. That opper is known, worthless. Taking some footing now into Garage. As Astra starts to peel back towards A site with that spike. Walking up short with a martial risky play, but trying to find some kind of opening for the Golden Bears now. Four on five. Astra up close at short. Starting to peek out, waiting for his team. Skyblind hits nothing. It should know it's somewhat clear. Astra trying to get utility down. Smokes out CT and Heaven. Chicken finds the opener. One backside as well. And it's Concordia walking into the meat grinder on a setup. Going down 0-4 in the opening of Haven. Struggling to find a footing on this attacking side so far. Ten seconds left. As Soba gets blind up at long. Tries to peek out and find what damage he can. Will not land the shots though. Trying to survive. Finds that frag. How does he do it? Will go down in the end of it though. a sense of calm. As rifles across the board for the side of Concordia now. Here. Have to get things turned around and going in their direction right here and right now. And it looks like the whole squad grouped up over at A will be pushing for a five-man execute. Now, ahead. I'd like to see this all five stars set up on A already from the Astra. And the wall used as well. So Concordia sending everything in the kitchen sink at this A site. Goosey moving forward. Shocks are coming out from the Sova. But the player repositioned. Killjoy finds two. Can he find more? Elusive Elephants trades it out though. Two on three now. 
big pickup from Akira. Now a two on two. Huge flick onto the jet. Now a two on one. Goes down trying to retrieve Spike though. Porg knows he's in heaven. Repositioning towards CT. He heard the movement. Heard the footsteps. I got the spike. Grab Spike. Now gonna opt for the plant. Chamber could sneak out CT, but a beautiful play from Porg. Reads him like a book and takes round one for Concordia St. Paul. The one to four being the scoreline. Concordia down three. Have to start digging into this one and fighting back. At the end of the day, three sites being available to you. This has got to be an attack-sided map. The defense gets spread so thin, so it's on Concordia to find the weak link in this defense and crack open this map entirely. Money not looking so hot for the side of the Golden Bears. Even with that round win. They lost too many troops along the way. Chamber Ultimate called in early here. And it's the Golden Bears moving out through mid quickly, making a dash for this B site. Astro Utility is in. Goosey blinds his teammate. As they push out on a B now, Goosey goes down to that utility. They hear one C link. Borg shooting away. Akira will find Velo, but gets traded out. Now a two on four. Make it a one on three. Not going to happen. Concordia St. Paul go down one to five. Good play from both sides. They find a couple frags, but not able to get the job done. Defuse comes through for the defending side. Now 5-1 lead for Colorado Mesa. Week one of this collegiate Valorant action, Concordia St. Paul currently lead the series 1-0. to zero. As of right now, if they can't get this turned around, folks, we might have a little bit of map three on our cards, but plenty of gameplay ahead of us, plenty of time for Concordia to get this ball turned around and rolling in the right direction. Rifles across the board for the Golden Bears. Looking to get back into it now. Akira peeking out towards long. No early visual. Four ultimates run. available for the defending side. And Killjoy ulti used early from the defenders. And Lance Dog picks up Akira on the mid peak. A big find for this defending squad. Really having Concordia's number so far on this attack side. Boost of Elephants trying to cheat through Garage. Can't do it. Gets spotted out by that Chamber Utility. And falls back. Lots of movement back over to the A site from Concordia. As Sky Seekers are called in from the opposing team. Hunter's calling coming out from the Sova. Worthless can't find any tags. Elusive Elephant's hanging out around mid right now. Has a crazy flank. If he has time. Good trade coming out from Goosey. Worthless finds another as well. Now a three on three. Golden Bears with a big opportunity to take this round back. But it looks like they're calling a bluff. Elusive Elephant's starting to move up through Garage now. And it looks as though the C hit is going to come out from the side of the Golden Bears. Time is running low. 15 seconds and counting. Friendly Sky Ultimate is used now. As the Seekers go back here mid. A big position from Elusive Elephants. Big opener Bye -bye. coming out from the Astra. He saw one close left. Does he know? Falls back into the crossfire. I don't think Elusive Elephants caught that player on back left B site. I'm out of stock. Heal up, squad. One player cheating over towards Garage. The other CT. Two on two. The Golden Bears not playing together. Now, big pickup from Goosey, making it a two-on-one, and tucks away. Plays for his teammate, Worthless. But pushes up logs. How does Goosey come out with that frag? Huge play to the sky. A 3K on the round, and it's the Golden Bears fighting back into this. Now, two to five is the scoreline.
we get a check on the scoreboard? I kind of want to see what money is looking like. Ooh, and pretty low for the defending side. So the Golden Bears with a big opportunity to keep adding to their scoreboard marker right now. Three opposing players will struggle to buy in this round. Early pressure coming out from the Golden Bears towards A long. Astra peeking out aggressively. Sova Drone coming out as well. They spot out the Astra. DSP tapping away and looking for an early opener. Nice flash out from the attack. Oh my goodness, that Sheriff rings out for two. Make it a third as well in the eco round going the way of Colorado Mesa. What a turnaround round from them. And a huge round to take away from the Golden Bears. Now money flip-flopped, looking worse for wear on the attacking side. A massive round coming out from Harpsicus. 3K with that Sheriff and turning that round on its head entirely. Big plays coming out from the opposing team's Killjoy. Let's go. Need a drop. Thanks. As we have Akira with a sheriff to his name, peeking out towards A long. Tags that opper once. No follow up just yet. Here. Goosey starting to fall back. As the Golden Bears starting to push through Garage now. Players rotating over from that B side. The Alp will miss another shot opportunity there. Standing Elephant's ahead. trying to trade out the Killjoy. Utility coming out of mid. The Golden Bears now in a three on four. Oh. Fighting back Spine into it. Down. Elusive Elephants See. walks into the Alp. Jet's been staying there the whole time. Hasn't moved yet. Standing. Worthless goes down. Akira to follow as well. Now Goosey in a one on four. And that Jet's having a heyday over on C site. And Goosey will go down as well. Now money should be back to normal for the side of the Golden Bears. And they should be able to pick up some rifles here. And they do. It costs them their entire bank account, though. So a very crucial round for the Golden Bears. Only three rounds left in this half, including this one. As they go into two ultimates on the defending side. Killjoy ultimate and the Astral Wall. Early mid-pressure coming up for the Golden Bears is Akira moving forward aggressively. Tapping away, breaking the utility out. They know Jet's opping over on this C site. Early blind out from the sky. Big opener from Goosey takes out the opper as Akira dashes out back site. No follow up from the team though. And that's spike down. Killjoy ultimate is used early. And the astral wall to follow up. Goosey now walking up through mid. I like this play. Could totally catch a timing sneaking through B main. He finds the Astra. The only problem is that spike is down long. Goosey spots one out CT. Worthless coming through with the drone. Able to tag that chamber. Now the Sky Seekers are out. Concordia has to start moving forward. One player no CT. He teleported right next to you, Goosey. Doesn't hear it, and it's another round going the way of the defenders. And just not the same attack side that we saw in game one coming out from Concordia. Maybe Haven might have to get out of that ban list after this one, boys. Just so much team play that was on Icebox is absent here on Haven. Uh, lots of individual peaks, lots of uncoordinated pushes together. Just doesn't seem like the boys are on the same page as of right now. So hopefully they can get that sorted out. Sakira trying to work out grass early. The rest of the squad pushing over towards A quickly. 
Worthless gonna follow off the flash. Two players spotted back site. Alpha picks up two. Off rip though. Big shots coming out from the sky. Now the Golden Bear is stuck. The rotates are coming in. Elusive Elephant's trying to see if he can find it. Somebody give away too much. Here's players on site. Is Akira coming back up long now? Right there. 50 seconds. The op will ring out for another frag. Velo has been tearing up this defense side. And another flawless round going the way of the defenders. 9-2 to is the scoreline. Last round before the switch. And Colorado Mesa looking like a brand new squad here on Haven. Last round of this first half here. The Golden Bears, a must-win round for them. Must win. If they go down 10-2, I mean, I don't know if I've seen a comeback uh, to that extent yet on Valorant, if you want me to be completely honest. So... It is on the side of Concordia right now to come back into this and make it happen. You're waiting towards long as the Golden Bear is pushing up through Garage early. If you want me to be completely honest, yeah, they know the ops here. I, I'm surprised they continue to go over towards the C site and the operator on this jet. They're doing it anyway. Spike running back A, but they've lost two members as is. Now a three on five for the Golden Bears. Down two members. Spike being planted. Elusive Elephants is by himself. He's going to have to stay alive for as long as possible. And walks up and dies. So that is a 10-2 half. Porg doing what he can. We'll go down. 10-2 half. The way of the defenders. And a much better showing from Colorado Mesa here in map two. Switching sides. You're okay. You're okay, fam. Good even. The Golden Bears are going to have to win pistol round and then a whole lot more to get back into this map two. See the defensive setup coming out from CSP. Ten two is the scoreline. Colorado Mesa with a big lead after half number one here. That's pistol round of half two starting up. It's looking like a C hit for sure coming out from the attacking squad. A big shot from Velo, but gets traded out by Porg. Lots of defender or attackers pushing back towards long now. As the defense coming in on the retake, Worthless takes out that motion dart. Looking for big damage with that Sheriff. Tags up Killjoy once. Can't find the shots to ring out. Needs help from the squad now. Trying to send out some shock darts. Tapping the bomb, but that Killjoy utility is hurting. Last player standing. And the pistol round goes the way of the attackers. 11-2 is the scoreline. And I don't know if this one's comebackable at this point. You know, this is going to be Spectre by coming out from the attackers now. So almost certainly match point. This is going to be very, very tough for the Golden Bears to get back into game number two here. We might be looking at game three almost uh, almost 100%. I mean, I don't want to you know, doubt the Golden Bears' ability here, but it's just such a deep hole to be in. Akira dropping both pistols over here towards the A site. Has the shorty. I like this crossfire. The A hit is coming in. Akira will for sure get one. Peeks out early. Doesn't let him walk into him and gonna get mollied out now. I mean, you just let him walk into you. 
You give away your position with the shorty like that, you're going down free. Good pickup from Goosey. Spike being planted on the A site. Astra swings out. Nice trade from Goosey as well. Now a two on three. A doable round. No bullets in the Spectre though. That's unlucky. Porg left in a one versus three. Swings out and gets tagged up. Now match point for Colorado Mesa. Match point. Act on my intel. Don't give them time to reposition. Now, a must-win round from the side of CSP. Otherwise, Colorado Mesa will even up the series at one apiece and push things to map number three. Really flash out a long. Grounded. Good shots from Akira. And this is a player that has to step up in moments like these, and finding run. that first frag is massive. Coming out from the jet, Killjoy ultimate is used. He finds another. Big shots coming out from the jet and dashing back to safety now. That's exactly what the side of CSP needed. No sign of a commit yet. Sky spotted out top short. One on default as well. CSP starting to push out and go for this retake. Spike not planted though. And one given up on the flank. Now a three on three. Two players spotted at short. Now a two on three. And Colorado Mesa have a man advantage in trying to close out right here. Ahead. Good dart coming out from Worthless. Spots one out. Taken out. Good swing. Now two on two. They heard one in hell. Swings out. Can't find the frag. Goosey peeks out as well. Now in a one on two. Has to pick up the pace. Otherwise he's going to run out of time on this clutch opportunity. One enemy remaining. Now a one on one. Has to get on that spike quickly. Why did I sign up for this shit? Running away. That player doesn't even have to peek. No time on the clutch. Map three on the cards. 13 to two loss in game two. Attackers win. And it looks like we will be heading to split to get this settled, folks. We will return when we are going back into game number three. Stay tuned. It should not be too long before we get back onto the maps.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Game three is needed to separate Concordia St. Paul and Colorado Mesa of this week Two one agent. hour in action. We are headed into split. And both teams have gotten the better look in maps one and two now. Both have notched one apiece on the scoreboard. And now it's Concordia St. Paul's turn to turn this one around and get back and claim some glory for their squad and school. Did not get the look they were wanting on that second map. And I, well, if I'm being honest, I think it's Haven. You know, Haven's definitely a tougher, trickier map. You know, those three sites are a complete game changer at the end of the day. But heading over to split now, separate these squads, Concordia, back on the attacking side. Let's check out our agents for Concordia St. Paul. We have Akira on the Sky, Elusive Elephants on the Astra, Goosey on Sage, Porg is back on that raise, and man, oh man, did we see Sparks fly. From game one, now worthless on the chamber. So a little bit of a comp switch up. Akira on his third agent of this series. Here. Along oh, with really? worthless as well. So quite the switch ups we are seeing coming out of this squad. Approaching this B hit quickly now. Spot out this early hit. The walls up across Goosey gets flashed early. One on default site. Couple players in mid. Akira finds one through the mid pick. CSP walks up mid as the rest of the team's falling back though, and they lose two members. Now a three on four as Elephant starts to walk sewer over to this A site. Goosey's still left over at this B lurk. A minute on the clock. Concordia St. Paul going to have to start working together. They want to turn this pistol round around. Worthless lurking out towards mid. 35 seconds. And this defense is going to start to realize that something's up. CSP going to have to get a move on Goosey. Makes the rope sound cue. Left. Elusive Elephants and Goosey off towards A. Worthless in mid. 20 seconds and counting. 15 seconds now. Elusive Elephants trying to run away, but there's no time to wrap this. You have to commit to this A site. Worthless is behind one. Ten seconds left. Spots out a player on ramp. Picks out the one first. Gets a second as well. Now a two on one, but they ran out of time to get to site. They ran out of time. And it's a round going to the defenders. There's got to be more decisiveness. We can't sit around and question if we're going to hit the site when we're running out of time. I'm speechless. CSP have to have to get better on the communication of that because that's a few times now throughout this series that that has happened. And losing rounds like that is it can't happen. Worthless had a beautiful flank coming through mid. They just have to work up together. I mean, Elusive Elephant started running away from the site. Now, down the first round again here. Game number three action. Blocking vision. Obscuring vision. Taking that fight. They get smoked out and they instantly start rotating it back. But it's a fake Worthless Popping back up towards A with Goosey. Three members pushing up through mid. Trying to sell a fake through mid to B. I like this. CSP have to start slow working up to this A site. They believe the rotation came out. Chicken will find worthless. Goosey gets spotted out from the motion sensor. And now the rotate is coming in. Alpha finds elephants. Akira goes down in mid. Spotted one back lane there will go down. Spike left up top at heaven. Now Porg left in a one on five. Peeks out, finds the dink, but will go down. 
It is Colorado Mesa getting the better of CSP here early on split. But a full buy round coming out for the Golden Bears now. All rifles, and this is such a key round. We talk about it all the time. Once you get into this first buy round, it's a must win for the team down 0-2. CSP heading back over towards this B site and looking to take some mid control. Akira holds that B push early. No showing from the defenders. Sky Dog burned out. Elusive Elephants pushes the smoke, has the timing, the reload is in. Good opener from the Astra. Now CSP pushing through to this B site quickly. A big pickup from Goosey, now a five on three. And this is looking like a great round for the Golden Bears. They find another one as well. Perfect execution, no hesitation. And that is what a clean attacking round looks like. Moving forward as a squad, there's no hesitation. They hear the player in CT. Elusive Elephants is in a very, very great spot here. Can do some damage to these defenders. Knows the player's moving towards heaven. Goosey jiggling a little. Not giving away too much. Time ticking away and both defenders are MIA. Good flash into heaven as the rest of the Golden Bears flee the site and try to get out and save their weaponry. A very good round coming out from the Golden Bears. Beautiful push through mid. What a spot from that chicken right there. Will get traded out though. Now three on one. Now we're on the right path. Let's keep going. One to two is the scoreboard. CSP claiming their first round of map number three. And now have to continue to fight to stay in this series. Weaponry shouldn't be the best on the defending side. Most of them uh, upgraded, from my knowledge. Maybe a Spectre or a Marshal, I heard. But other than that, a great round. Perfectly executed coming out from CSP. Good wall coming out from Goosey as the attackers move up towards middle. Two openers coming out from the Golden Bears as they light up the kill feed. Moving up through heaven now, trying to take this B site. Jet will find one. Golden Bears not stopping. They know he's up top. Jet drop behind that box. Now deciding to head through CT. An interesting maneuver. Golden Bears stopping in their tracks now positioned in heaven. Three on three, even on the numbers. So they start to walk into CT. And this is where things can get really interesting. The defenders now have no idea where these attackers have gotten off to. Goosey holding their backs. Worthless leading the charge. And if they find an Oprah onto this A site, I mean, left. they can crack this whole thing wide open. I believe two defenders were over at B, Jet and the Sky. So it should be Astra here alone. All they have to do is clear out this last defender, and it should be a free site. Astra nowhere to be found. Spike being planted for Heaven. And there she is. Last player standing. Finds one in Heaven. Finds one again. Now a one on three for Worthless. Has to go huge for the Golden Bears. Good taps. Finds the first. Finds the second. Now left in a 1v1. Big clutch opportunity. Will get blinded up. Positions nicely. Knows he's going to get pushed. The jiggle peaks are back and forth, back and forth. Gets pushed, gets the tags through the wall. Worthless, you got to go crazy. He gets the clutch, one versus three. What a play coming out from the chamber. They give him the first 1v1. They make it two 1v1s. And it seemed as though Colorado Mesa didn't have any interest in winning round number four. Worthless taking full advantage and evening up the scoreboard at two apiece. What a round coming out from the chamber. Keeping morale high for the side of the Golden Bears. As we're tied up on map three of this week one Collegiate Valorant series. Ultimates available now for Worthless. 
Huge round coming out from the chamber. Get out of my way. Early sky flash comes out from the B site. The dog used by Akira, worthless, pushing forward, drops the early motion sensor, tags out. The wall is a little bit scuffed, but it'll play. Worthless, nice pickup on the back site. Five on four now for the attacking side. Spike down instantly. Velo finds one with the blade storm. Now a four on four. These attackers have to play this right. Porg has the flank on lock. Wow, what a shot coming out from Chamber, but a big spray coming out from Elephants. Chet pushes forward, he finds the frag. Porg to trade as well with Akira, and a great round going back for the Golden Bears as they claim the lead here in round number five. Three to two is the scoreboard, and the Golden Bears are starting to find a rhythm on this attack side, and it is so important for that to be beginning here in the early game on split. This is such a difficult map to find these attack rounds on. It is so defender-sided. I, I kid you not, Twitch chat. You don't believe me. Just go ahead and play some split for yourself and tell me how much fun you have on the attack side. Because I can guarantee you it won't be a lot. Loose of Elephants getting some star play down in mid early. The Golden Bears going for a mid peak. But Velo rings out that operator for an early pick. The resurrection comes through. The Golden Bears still working towards mid. Fearless in front of that op. And a big opener for Elusive Elephants. Doing an excellent job working mid for CSP right now. Finding openers time and time again on that Astra. Worthless lurking out towards ropes. Will give one away. The Golden Bears pushing through to B. Elusive Elephants will go down to that op. Jet falling back. What are you looking at? The sky? Big openers from Akira as well as they team up to drop that up. Now a three on two. Big opportunity for CSP to push things to four on two. Or four to two on the scoreboard rather, excuse me. Good wall coming out from Goosey. Player out heaven, nice. Holding the six of his teammate. Beautiful shots from Goosey. Port goes down. Player was heard CT, I just... The astral wall being used as well. Gonna try to go for a tap reminder. Very hard to hear that spike tap through this astral wall. So CSP gonna have to peek. Good timing from Goosey. Pushes through, finds the frag. And he's uh, debating on the op. They're opting to leave it out and make sure that the defending squad cannot get their hands on that operator again. Money looking worse for wear on this defending side. So it is on the side of CSP to keep this ball rolling. They're on four unanswered rounds looking for five. And money, like I just said, looking bad for these defenders. So a very crucial round for the side of CSP to come out on top. And now switching up the strat. Heading over towards the A side, grouped up as a team, and I love this call coming out. They know money's not looking good for these defenders. Chamber has the operator pulled out. Oh, Chicken up close with a Bucky doing some early work and drops the Chamber out of his ultimate. Beautiful play from that Astra to avoid being spotted from that Sky Dog. I mean, absolutely catches Chamber off by surprise there. Worthless had no idea what he was in for. The Astra Wall used by the side of CSP. Bucky fell back up top ramp. As the Golden Bears push forward onto site now. The Bucky finds another. Elusive Elephants goes down as well. playing underneath nice wall to deny these retakes coming out jet pushes through with the judge shotgun akira will trade one out now a two on three they need frags goes down porg now in a one-on-one -on -one. does he find the shots he will the 3k is in for the raise and csp push the scoreboard to five to two big attacking rounds coming out i mean even in these ecos it is so close Colorado Mesa fighting tooth and nail, even with a garbage buy. I mean, they had shotguns to their name, and they still bring it to a 1v1. But at the end of the round, it's the Golden Bears stepping up and claiming the moment. 5-2 to two is your scorecard. And looking to keep this thing going. CSP, five unanswered rounds now on this attacking side. 
and looking to head over to this B site quickly, wasting no time getting into garage. Spots out chamber back site, worthless, tagged him up a little. Get some utility on that man, he's stuck in that corner. Early rotation coming in from heaven. Worthless running out early. Chamber got back to CT. Borg will go down in mid. Elusive Elephants as well. And Spike is lost. Now a three on five. And the Golden Bears have to run back mid to reclaim Spike. Early utility coming out bottom mid. They got to push through. Nice blind from Akira. One at heaven. One at ropes. Both of them drop. Three on three now as the Golden Bears even this round back up. Spotted that Velo out, and you are done. Chicken pushed up sewer, though. Now a two-on-two. -two. Worthless holding the flank. Akira and Worthless. What more can you do for the CSP squad? And you go down to the flank. Unlucky from Worthless. Now both players at bottom mid. Akira running out of time to fight for this round. Flashes sewers. Early stars on the spike. The suck is in, but no pull. Akira's running out of time. 15 seconds. A move has to be made. 10 seconds left. 10. I got the spike. It's looking like a save. Five to three is the defenders claim a round back. Akira finds one near the end of the round and keeps his weapon for the next round. All five ultimates available for this defending squad, and that is not what you want to see if you're a fan of these Golden Bears. But money also not looking good for the defense. So there's positives and negatives going into round number nine here. Golden Bears up two right now on the attacking side. Definitely the disadvantageous side to start out on, but making it work right now you on the side play, of CSP. Early ultimate use from the chamber as the Golden Bears starting to work mid. Three members to mid. Akira goes down on the lurk. And it's it's been struggling uh, on this attack side from CSP. Uh, these lurk rounds are not going our way yet. Got to see those group plays coming out in the team play. That is where the Golden Bears have found their success in these previous rounds. This split up, doing it by yourself, is not going to cut it right now. This Colorado Mesa defense has been too solid these past two maps for the split up, split technique. I mean, I understand the map is called split, but at the end of the day, you still got to be grouped up on the attack side. Maybe one lurk, but lurking two to three guys is just not going to cut it. Viper Wall is up on this A site. Chamber trying to work up mid is left. spotted out from that motion sensor. As Goosey now peeking out towards A ramp. Has his teammate with him. Worthless goes down in mid. Now it's a two on five for these Golden Bears. His time is ticking away. Goosey sneaking Ten onto seconds. site now. Player spotted at Bricks will find that frag. And Alpha gets punished. Trying to play slow and trigger discipline, but he goes down. Needed, much needed frag for Goosey. As he gets screens walled off. Both ultimates are available. Porg has the showstop. We're gonna have to find a multi-frag from this hell spot. Spotted out from screen, and that's trouble. Goes down for free. Now a one on four seems impossible for Goosey. Will go down as well. And the score going to five to four now. The defenders fighting back into it. And now money going to be bad for the side of CSP this next round. If you see one of my creatures, it's a Actually, I lied. Money's decent. That, that spike plant really coming in and helping out the squad. Everybody on the team will be able to grab a rifle, which is very nice. And opting to head over to this A site. Grouped up. A good look. 
as the Golden Bear is trying to bounce back and get more on the win tally. Three ultis available compared to the four on the defending side. Early swing from Akira. Sky Seekers used on both sides as Akira pushes out forward aggressively. One player top ramp. Akira heard him. Nice blind. Sends another one through and pushes. Jet not blind at all. And now three members, four members dropping for the side of CSP. A one on five and nothing going the way of the Golden Bears. Just pushing through smoke on that and getting punished. Quick game. Zenfire. Let's not complicate it. Now all tied up. Five to five. Golden Bears debating on a buy. Money is not looking the best right now for this squad. But with only two rounds left in this first half, sitting at 5-5 is not that bad. Like, I'm serious. I mean, five rounds on the attacking side on split, I think is pretty, pretty solid. If you want me to be honest. It would be nice to get a couple more before the half is up, but the money looking very very yikes on the side of the golden bears astro utility burned out mid akira flashing into heaven the defenders had to fall back now pushing up aggressively looks big frag coming out from akira finds a second as well this guy going massive for this attacking side now on two and pushing forward aggressively Chicken from heaven will drop Porg. This Astra's been having a great map three here. Really putting on for Colorado Mesa right now. Akira's holding main. The Astral Wall is used. Akira flashing through. Blinded one. Goosey will go down. One enemy remaining. Now a two on one. Bodies dropping on both sides, but it's elusive elephants to get the trade and CSP to get a big takeaway round there. Now six to five. And a huge round coming out from the Golden Bears. I mean, money was maybe one rifle. Other than that, I was seeing SMGs and Akira stepping up and making big boy plays that round. 2k with the specter and really giving the golden bears a nice shot at taking that round one round left in this half three ultimates available for the side of csp use them because if you don't they're running out and you're not going to get them next half so i gotta see these ultimates burned chamber pops the ultimate early but will get opt and akira goes down as well need that back Two ops ring out and both bodies drop for the side of CSP. Now a three on five. Is the Golden Bears running back towards A, but Goosey still at market in mid with the spike now. So I don't know if this is a fake hit or where Goosey is going to come into play. Chick Hen picks them up from the sewers flank, not watching the six, and they get punished. Now a one on five, an almost impossible round for Goosey to pull back. 48 seconds and counting. We're looking at a 6-6 six, six half almost guaranteed. Golden Bears doing a much better job on their attack side compared to game two. Still have some kinks to work out, but at the end of the day, improvement one game at a time. Left. As Goosey trying to get up into heaven now, has five enemy members to find. Gets spotted out. His location is known. He spotted him back sight, but not going to be quick enough on the trigger. The ops ring out and do the damage on that final defending round. 6-6 six, six is our scoreboard, folks. This is game three of this best of three series. Last match of the night. Chick Hen putting up an insane 20 frags on that first half. The side of the Golden Bears, though. Akira at 11. Elusive Elephants at 8. Worthless at 8. Goosey at 6. And Porg down at 5. So, Golden Bears 
trying to find their footing in this match and definitely going to have to get out to a strong start on the defense here if they want to close out and take a 2-1 to -one openings week one series victory over Colorado Mesa. Akira holding this early A peak. Goosey walling off mid. Shots coming out from bottom mid right away and Akira cheating over to help his teammate out. Pressure towards B main. Worthless spotted too. Now just has to wait for backup or for a commit. Oh, Akira goes down. What a shot coming out from Lance Dog. He's been hunting heads all day long with that headhunter. Goosey cheating out towards mid. Viper wall is in at B, but no attackers are out. Starting to come out now, though. Worthless looking for the rest of his squad to back him up here. Astral Star is coming out. It's quiet. 40 seconds now, and I, I don't hear anything out. It might be a full rotation coming out from these attackers, and there it is. Already out on heaven. Starting to punish these early rotations. From mid now, Velo picks up Worthless, and it's a two on four. Now a one on four. The Golden Bears are just running around a little bit too early. I mean, nobody's out on site, and we're, we're full rotated off of a site, and they sneak out for free. And that's good play to the attackers. Pulling the strings. We know what we're doing. Trust each other and we'll be fine. Big round for the attackers taking the first of the second half and now a 7-6 to six lead. It's not a big lead, but a lead nonetheless. As the Golden Bear is getting back to work here. Early breakage in the wall mid. Goosey requesting assistance from his squad. Porg trying to back him up. Early presence out Bravo. And the first defender drops. CSP in full rotation. I don't hear Spike going down yet. Early flash out from the sky and I don't think anything's here, man. I think this is the same thing they just did the round before. We're just rotating early. No, nothing's out. One in garage still. That's the sky that's been lurking. One coming up mid now. Porg heard him. A three on five now. A tough spot for Concordia St. Paul to pull this one back. Another sky flash from garage. Sneaking out on a B site now. Porg heard him. That's two. Goes down. Unfortunate peak from the alpha there. 30 seconds left. Last player standing. Here a flash is back side up close, but it's a flawless round going the way of the attackers. Don't sit down. We're not and CSP yet. are on weapons this round. This is what they've been waiting for. They now have rifles for the first time in the second half. And this is a very crucial round for the side of the Golden Bears to win and start to pull this game back. Six to eight score lead to Colorado Mesa. Time to mobilize my pack. Early Astral Stars on this B site. Worthless is tucked in back site here. And Concordia have to get activated. One player spotted out towards Raj. Worthless peeks out, finds the first, but will get traded. These defenders starting to fall back early. No commitments whatsoever. Just really playing off of abusing these rotations. Astral Star gets pulled away. They flash out of Garage. Chicken trades one over at Ramp. Pressure is starting to mount over on this A site. 
and it's still not known where this attack will end up. The Golden Bears playing a 1-2 setup right now. No presence from the attackers. They've gone quiet. Left. They cut sound. It's on them to make the play. Akira positioned nicely over here at screens. The pressure's through mid to B, it looks like. Porg gonna have to find some kind of crazy flank kills from left. heaven here. Spike Akira planted. is with him. A two on three for these players. Akira has a flash. Gets swung on that sound cube giveaway. And it's Velo taking another 3k in this score lead, 9-6. to six, And now CSP starting to get in trouble here. Money is bad. Do you force up here? If you lose this round, you're facing 10-6. This, this just can't be a buy. You got to save for next. You're putting too much pressure on the rest of the rounds if you, if you lose this round and buy out. So expecting the side of Concordia to save. 9-6 to six lead the way of Colorado Mesa. Pressure out towards this B site, but this has been the same smoke and mirrors attempt every round on this attacking side so far. They send a lurk at garage, and the hit comes out A. There's two players out A quickly. Nice lineup from Akira. Finds the first frag. Can he find more? He has to go huge. Will get traded out, though. And it's been the same hit every round so far from these attackers. Spike planted. Poor gets taken out from the ultimate. Worthless is waiting at screens. Goosey on the flank through sewer. Goosey's still at ramp. We get spotted out from that motion sensor when it's close, and that's all it needs. They know his location. A one on four. Goosey gonna swing out. Nice find onto that operator. And saving's not a bad call at this point. No HP. Bought the rifle. They flashed out main. Now Goosey forced to fall back. Will get pushed. Sky on the hunt. No charges left. Good slow for Goosey. Should be safe. Keeping that Vandal alive. The most important weapon they brought into the round. And they get out with it. The rest of the team will be able to buy now. And this is a, an absolutely must win round. For the side of Concordia St. Paul. If they drop this round. They're facing round round match point honestly because they will be absolutely broke going into the next round so for the side of csp to make this comeback realistic it's got to be right now they have to win this round as we get into things here 610 colorado mesa with the lead this is map three action of the best of three series week one collegiate valorant series Lots of pressure through mid. Goosey and Akira teamed up in this heaven spot together as the Sky Dog goes out bottom mid to clear. But if there's been no commits from this attack side, man. It is always a fake into fallback. I mean, I, there has not been one hard commit onto a site yet. They show fake presence and they fall back and play slow. And it's on the defenders to realize that Porg stuffing the early A presence push. Elusive Elephants with the follow-up. And now the Golden Bear starting to get a read on this attack side. And until they switch it up, why wouldn't they? Pressure in mid. Goosey goes down. Chick Hen finds Porg as well. And we're into a three-on-three -three just like that. 30 seconds left. Early presence in heaven. Akira goes for a flash, blinds himself a little bit. And Worthless goes down. Now a two on three, and his teammates on the other side of the map. Akira pushing out as the rest of these attackers flood the A site. Akira looking for the taps, can't find it. Now it's all up to Elusive Elephants on a one on three. Such a tough retake position to be in.
How does he approach? Has to clear so many angles. Finds the first. Down to 32 HP. That Molly might do it. Falling very low and will get taken out from the Heaven Peak. Chick Hen is 26 and 9 right now. Once more, Absolutely popping off here in Map 3. And now for the side of CSP. Money is so bad. Do you save and play off mash point and try to bring this to overtime or do you force up? The call looks like it's being made to force up. So, CSP. They dropped this round. We are looking at game over, most likely. 11 to 6 is the scoreline. Colorado Mesa putting it on the Golden Bears here right now in game number three. Early presence push from B main. Nothing here. It might be a full A execute. Sky Ultimate's called in. Astral Ultimate is on its way as well. And the Golden Bears are struggling to hold this B site. Porg is in trouble, falling back, waiting for his teammates. Will get dropped by the Operator. Now a three on five. Goosey's on the flank. Big pickup from Akira. Drops the Operator. Goosey now on the flank. Three on four. It's a winnable round for the Golden Bears. The Seekers are out. The push early, though, from Worthless goes down. Now a one on four. Sky left with it all to do. Akira, can you be the hero? Can't find the shots and it's not going to happen. Match point the way of Colorado Mesa. Absolutely turning up the heat here in game number three. And it's got to be another garbage buy coming out from Concordia. I mean, money ended up being the ultimate enemy here. And it's been all Colorado Mesa here in this second half. Concordia have not found a round on this defensive side. A tough look. I mean, it's that was the first hard execute on a site. I mean, they've they've had this defense running around left and right, and honestly, have played a a better attack side. Nothing over at this A site. It's looking like B. Worthless is going to need backup immediately. And he teleports out to safety. Has the ultimate available. The push up mid from Goosey gets dropped out by Lance's op. Nice shot. The collateral lands from Worthless. And that is finally something going the right way for the side of the Golden Bears. Porg trying to go aggro with this showstopper. Nobody else in garage now. Pushed all the way up. Sends the, the rocket over towards market. Will not find its mark though. As Worthless back in Garage holding this main peak now. A three on three. A winnable round for the Golden Bears. They have to find this next frag though. Nice shot coming out from Worthless. A 3k on the round. Two left. Only one shot remaining in his ultimate. But he gets an upgrade on the weaponry. 40 seconds and counting. Massive round coming out from the chamber. Here's that op firing off towards Garage, left. and he's holding it hard. A slow jiggle, and it should be a 4K going the way of Chamber here. Post it up nicely. 20 seconds and counting. These attackers are going to have to commit. Here comes the execute now. Beautiful shot. The 4K is in, and he teleports back to safety. On for the ace now. Worthless. Make it happen. They found my trap. Oh, he's playing too close to the angle. No time to plan. He swings out for the ace. A beautiful round for Worthless. It started out with the collateral. Absolutely turning things around for the Golden Bears. And hey, five rounds in a row is a doable thing, folks. They can still push this into overtime. What a round from Worthless to put his team back and give them a chance, right? Keep fighting. They're on match points. They cannot afford to lose another round. That works. That's worth us playing close now. Maybe opting for an early peak. Peeking out. No visual over at B main. Golden Bear is most likely facing an A hit here. As Akira calls in the Tasmanian Tiger to go spot him out. Heard one in the corner, but no visual just yet. And they dogged as well up ramp. Nothing out yet. Elusive Elephant's jiggling over towards ramp. And not spotting anything out quite yet. Ooh, 
pressure over towards the middle of the map as Goosey's wall gets broken and Velo pushes through. Looking like a B hit. The Astral Wall is called in from the side of CSP. Trying to halt these attackers. And a big pickup from Chicken into ropes. Drops elusive elephants. And it's an A hit. It's an A hit. They've been thrown for a loop yet again. Now a two on four, and it's a must win round. Otherwise, Concordia St. Paul will suffer a two to one loss to the hands of Colorado Mesa. But not if Porg and Worthless have anything to say about it. Sky or Viper's Pit is on site. Lance Dog finds one. Porg now left in a 1v3 with only 11 HP to his name. Can he make it happen? Finds the second. It's still a doable round. Gets dropped, though, from the close elbow peak. A close series, but at the end, Concordia St. Paul will fall 2-1 to one to the hands of Colorado Mesa. A good attempt, nonetheless. Draw. They're starting to draw it back a little bit, but man, could not get the read on that GG's. those attackers, man. GG. Continuing to early rotate, continuing to get pulled around the map, and it ended up being the death of them. Thank you, everyone, for coming out to the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bears Valorant stream. I've been your caster, Skepter. As always, it's an honor to call these games. Thanks for being here. We'll see you guys next time on the CSP stream. Thanks for coming out and have a great night.